Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tanks Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tanks Cooks. Merry Christmas. Buna Natale. Today we are making a traditional Chris, uh, Christmas and Easter as well treat from Italy, from Naples, that my grandmother used to make all the time called strufoli or, yeah, or honey balls or as uh, she liked to call it, istrufla. So we're going to be putting this together. We're going to be making uh, the, uh, the strufoli. Now what, what we do is we, we mix this together and then we're gonna fry these little balls and then drown them in honey and uh, put the uh, non pareils and you'll see it'll be a delectable snack on Christmas day. Strufoli and uh, we're gonna put it together. Now you gotta put the dough together and then let the dough rest and then you go later. I'm gonna change things up a bit. I'm gonna be making the strufoli in an air fryer. I don't know if this has ever been attempted, but why not? <laughs> so first we have to uh, put our dough together and put our dough together. We need uh, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Two cups of flour, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour, and we put two cups of flour. Uh, one cup of flour is not quite enough. Two cups of flour, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Well, this is just one cup. Boom. Now we'll make our second cup of flour. Two cups of flour, two cups of, two cups of flour. We're putting together two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Now this is unsifted flour. So we probably have to do actually two and a half cups. But we'll worry about that a little bit later. We'll see how it mixes together. First, two cups of flour. We get just a little sugar. We're not putting a lot of sugar in here. We're actually only gonna do like a little under, like a, about half a cup of uh, flour. I know I got other measuring cups, but I don't feel like washing them. So more or less that's a half a cup of flour, of sugar I should say. Sugar, sugar, ha 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 ha. Now it says it was supposed to put a lemon zest in here. I don't have any zested lemons. I don't even have any lemons right now. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the, in the tablespoon, actually one tablespoon of lemon juice. So this is a tablespoon of lemon juice. Boing. All right teaspoon of baking powder. Just a little baking powder to make it glower. Boing. Come on. There you go. Gotta put a little of our favorite ingredient in there. <laughs> and a little salt. La, 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 la. Stick of butter. Now we let this dough at room temperature. Uh, sit at room temperature for an hour or two. Just to make it extra soft so it's easier to mix apart. And whip it up, whip it up, whip it up real good. And then we have to add some eggs. And this will let us know once we get this all mixed together if we need any more flour. You see, you know, unsifted flour is kind of a little tricky. Mm. 
You know what I've got to add? I have to add one more ingredient. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Here's my little measuring cup. How much vanilla do we have to put in now? Put a tablespoon of vanilla. Da 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 da. Continue putting these eggs in. Eggy wiggies. Eggy wiggies. Eggy wiggy. Eggy wiggy. Eggy wiggy. Woo. Eggy wiggy. Eggy wiggy. Eggy wiggy. Do. All right. Now we can mix this up. Mm hmm. Both gotta get the measuring uh, spoons off, and we mix this up. And why isn't this mixing? Is this unplugged? Uh, <laughs> La 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 Mix it up feel good Mix up the air and make it nice and dough That's the way we go for all the dough Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up We're going to cover our dough with this cloth. We're going to put it in the fridge and hope it emulsifies correctly. I know I put the right ingredients in, but it's like very sticky, this dough. I don't know what. I'll see how it comes out. All right. We've let the dough uh, sit in the fridge for a while. We even uh, took it out and let it get back to room temperature. So what we're going to do is the dough should be now easy to work. So we'll get out of the bowl and get ready to work it. Adding a little extra excess flour to help work the dough. As you know, let's try to scrape a little more of this dough off the bottom of the bowl. Bowl. As we continue to make our strufoli, our Italian honey balls. <clears throat> Chickity chick, hee ha, hee ha, it's Dominic the donkey. Chickity chick. Now, traditionally, you would fry this in uh, oil at 350, but we're going to do this with the deep fryer so we don't have to use all that oil. And hopefully, it will come out just as good, if not better, in the deep fryer. So let's turn our, make our dough, into, our dough into a little ball, ball it up, ball up the dough, ball up the dough, and then what we'll do is we'll take a little piece off the dough, and we'll roll it into a log, rolling into a log, maybe for a little flour on our hand so it doesn't stick. Put a little flour on here, on the little board here, so it doesn't stick. And roll it out, roll it out, roll it out. Hey. Roll out the dough, roll out the dough. Lo, 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 roll it out the dough. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it into a nice little thin log. Boy, this peel piece doesn't want to stick. Yeah, roll it out real thin. Like this. La 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 la. 
la 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 get our little basket here we're gonna be a basket case Once we got it all rolled up, we'll begin cutting it up into little pieces. Now these pieces don't look like they're coming together as they should. I'm, it's the first time I'm ever actually making this. And then roll these up into little balls. Probably should even be smaller than that. So let me take that and put it in half and put each one into a little ball. Little balls, little balls, little balls. Rolling them up into little balls. Little balls. Little balls. Rolling the dough into little balls. Okay, we could probably put a little bit more in here. Maybe another log. So. As you can see, I have the, uh, the dough into the air fryer. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 350. I got the wrong damn sprinkles. So I'll check these in I'll check this in out in about five minutes, see how it's looking. In the meantime, I'm gonna be uh, going in fast motion. You see, I got the wrong damn sprinkles. Let's get the small ones, the non perils I got the fucking sprinkles instead. Now hopefully they stick to the uh, the honey balls and the shoe floor with the honey and I just yeah. Anyway. Enjoy the Christmas music as I work in fast motion. expected them to. This one did. Alright, so that probably means I need to make smaller balls. Oh no, some of these are acceptable. Let's see. We'll cook this another five minutes and see how it comes out. Let me crank up the temperature a little bit too. Go up to 400. It, it's some of them burnt a little bit, but this is trial and error. First time I think this has ever been attempted to be made in an air fryer. 
So what we'll do is we'll start frying up the rest of these and we'll see at the end of how all this came out. So hopefully it came out well and I can enjoy some, a little bit of strufala for Christmas. And next time cooking, we'll put it in here. Now some of these balls are a little big, but uh, and they blackened a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll put the rest of them, I'll try it at like 400 and I'll check it regularly. And hopefully everything comes out well, even though some of these didn't look, they don't look that good. Well, hopefully when we get the honey and on there, they'll taste like yeast roof. Oh yeah, this second little batch came out much better. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll make the rest of these, fry them up. And we'll get ready for a nice little delectable Italian Christmas treat. All right, we got the last batch done. So we'll put it into our mixing bowl into our mixing bowl and is ready how it looks so it pretty much looks like he's true you know a little bit burnt some of them but you know I'm not perfect and now you get the honey ooh honey honey do 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 we're gonna need a lot more honey than what's left in this bottle Second bottle of honey. Let's get some honey. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of honey. La 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 Mix this around for a second. Make sure all of these get some honey on it. This will be put more honey in in a minute. Alright. More honey. Isn't it quite funny that we're adding lots of honey? And then we'll start putting in our sprinkles. Our wrong size sprinkles, but hey, what the fuck? All that matters is they stick to the honey balls, the stew folly. That's all that really matters. La da la 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 And we mix these all together. Stew foley, stew foley, la la stew foley. La 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 He's true for love. Ah, um, oh, yes. All right, we got ourselves a nice little bowl, and we'll just uh, start putting in the strufoli to give a little taste. Ooh. -ooh. little bowl of stew foley and to see how it came out and this is the perfect bowl one of these uh they have these at city field uh sometimes they have like if you go to like one of the special sections they had this with cookies in it or you could get it with ice cream in some uh, in some locations but I like this thing, it's nice little, perfect, perfect for little snacks like this. Hey, it actually tastes like she, uh, it's too flat. It's a little, nice little light snack for Christmas, perfect. 
Merry Christmas, Bona Natal.